Hello again everybody, this is Mr. Everything and I'm coming at you with another tutorial video and in this video we're going to be talking about the turning war and basically how to engage your opponent uh, while turning. Uh, this is very important because you'll be doing a lot of this uh, when dogfighting other opponents that like to turn, uh, like Spitfires and uh, Mustangs and Zeros. Okay, uh, so what you'll do, it's, it's as opposed to the zoom and boom. What I'm basically just trying to do is get behind one of these guys. I'll pick this one right there. Okay, so you're behind him. Now, he's, he knows I'm here. He's going to turn eventually. Uh, if he doesn't, then it's his fault. But hey, he's out distancing me. Uh, <clears throat> so now, let's say he turns to the left or right. If you're trying to make, like he's doing right now, if you're trying to maintain speed, don't point at him. Point behind him. This way you're kind of following in his footsteps. If you go here and you're trying to undercut him, that's great for shooting, but you won't be able to keep up with him. It'll slow you down because you, your circle will be too small compared to his circle. I hope that makes sense. Okay, and... He's close enough to actually shoot at. Notice how my circle is inside his circle. And the problem with that is it slows you down. So stay behind him. Uh, apparently there's somebody behind me. Or was. Might have got him. Okay, here comes one. Okay, I'm deliberately not shooting and not trying to shoot these two guys down. So if, if it looks like, um, if it looks like, um, what am I trying to say? I could be doing better or shooting these guys down, and I'm not. It's because I'm trying to show you a technique. Okay, flying straight on, there's, there's no technique. You just fly straight on. But when they're turning, if you're trying to still catch them, don't undercut them. Just kind of still fly around like this. But if you get within a click of them, then you're probably going to want to undercut them. Uh, war power, that way you can get a good shot in on them. Or some bad shots. <laughs> now, remember, when you are in the turning war, your plane will be most likely, not inverted, but uh, what do they call it? Perpendicular to the ground. Your wings are going to be up and down. This is okay, but, but this is not okay. Because while you're turning like this, your altitude is dropping drastically. So, because you need lift on your... What? Okay. You need lift on your wings. <clears throat> so you need to be at least, a, you know, a 30 degree to get some lift. Um, 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 um. Those guys should easily have this dude. So, now on a different now I'm not going to talk about that that's a topic of another story of how to predict where you're you know how to, how to what am I trying to say how to slice the pie we're not slicing the pie right now we're just trying to show you the energy how to conserve your energy where you can maintain your speed and you're able to dogfight your opponent okay I just want to take him right there and I, when he goes into that left-hand turn, because that's what it looks like he's going to do, I'm not going to go over here unless I'm shooting. If I'm not shooting, I'm going to stay back here. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if I'm in a pretty good range, then yeah, I'll jump over here and give him a few rounds. 
Okay, so just watch how I fly in this dogfight. I'm staying behind him, using more power every now and then. And then when I get ready to shoot, ah, he kind of tricked me. Okay, I'm taking too much of it on the inside. So what that's done is it slowed me down. So what I need to do is kind of just <clears throat> relax a little bit. Luckily, these guys are AI, so don't have too much worry about threat. Like that guy can't hit the side of a barn. I'm trying to stay behind him until he makes a silly mistake. I thought that was the silly mistake. Maybe it wasn't. I think I just took some damage. I love realistic because it, what the heck? Because you don't get the lead indicators. Whoa, I'm on fire. Do you know what? I'm just gonna nose it in. Am I flying? I'm flying this guy now. Okay. I just took over a damaged plane. Look at that hole in the wing. Isn't that that's sexy? I love War Thunder, man. It's just super awesome. And look at the new damage that just came out in the patch. It's showing me all my damage in the bottom left. Sorry, getting distracted. We're actually gonna go go ahead and try to shoot these guys down now, okay? So just follow along. Whoa, okay, so somebody thinks he wants to be all over me, huh? At least my engine still works. <laughs> ah, my target's back. I don't think I'm leading them enough. So I'm cutting inward because I'm trying to cut him off. I'm not trying to uh, retain energy. I'm using my war power to do that. Notice I'm war powering. If I have to cut, him, cut an inward circle, what it does is it'll reduce my range. look like hits to me. Okay. New wave of fighters, come on. I just barely got rid of this last fighter. Okay, now when you're turning, you'll notice off of your mouse pointer, the one that the outer circle, the big large circle, when you point, you'll see that it has like three little dashes that come off of it. That's telling you where your point of aim is located. Oh, I think I got a hit on him, but. Okay, so it's showing you like where your point of aim is, your, yeah.
Those aren't good. I thought those were good. I have no machine guns, no cannons, okay? I'm staying behind him until I'm ready to shoot. War powering it up, cutting him off. I could have swore that those would be hits. Maybe I need just a little bit more. Stay behind him, build up the speed. That's the energy we're talking about. Also, in, in shooting, in uh, shooting, you'll notice that your crosshair. Whoa. You'll notice your crosshair when you do extremely long bursts. Okay, now, whoa. It'll actually get a red line around it. And when that red line gets all the way around the circle, you have a potential chance to jam. Notice the red line? 50%. Okay, now we're doing what's called the cutoff. We're slicing the pie. I'm knowing that he wants to turn to the left, I'm just going to move, go to the left. And let him cut in on me. Trying not to hit my buddy. Staying behind him this time. Turning war, staying behind him. Not trying to overshoot him because what that does is it makes my turning circle smaller than his turning circle. And if that's the case, I'll slow down faster and I'll lose too much energy. So I've got to keep my turning circle to be about the same as his. Okay, unless he's trying to kill my buddy. I got a little, got a little something for him. Okay. Boy, look at my wing there. Boy, shoo wee. I'm still fighting, giving it a good fight. Okay, what do I have? I have machine guns. Now he's cutting. Sometimes you just got to turn, you know, sometimes. But I'm just trying to maintain my energy until I'm ready to engage. I'm ready to engage, ready not to get shot down. Man, nah, it's not good. I'm going to cut his butt off. Got him. I hope that was me. Look at that Emblem turn, you know that was good. What just happened to my engine? Okay, I think that might be our last guy. I'm going to look around a little bit. Oh no, there's a guy smoking over there. Okay, these two guys can handle this. I'm going to go take care of the guy that's smoking over there. 
maybe there's two of them. Remember that uh, one of Bulk's dicta is don't gang up on the opponent. Let everybody have a chance, basically. Split up and kill them. Don't. Now, in, in a case where there's only like one plane or one or two planes, you have to gang up. But if there's more, more than enough planes for everybody, everybody should take their own. Let me get rid of those cannons so I can reload. And the machine guns too, why not, right? I must have got him. Or not. So I hope that really helps uh, explain the turning war. And uh, I, I probably missed a lot of things because I was too excited playing. But um, if you've got any comments or concerns, uh, or if you know more about flying, go ahead and put it in the comments. I appreciate anything. Even if I already know it, other people on the channel might not know it. And so that might help them out too. So yeah, post some comments. Um, now, just as a disclaimer, I'm not a pilot. Okay, so take this with a grain of salt because uh, I know the theory of flight. I've done my homework. Uh, my dad was a pilot and I've flown a lot of flight sims over my illustrious career. And if you put me in a cockpit, I probably could fly it a plane. Okay, but I've never actually done that and I'm not a real pilot. So thanks for coming out and checking out my channel and you guys all have, oh, if you like it, like it. If you subscribe, that'd be appreciated and I'll see you in the field or maybe in the air.